Welcome back to the Bell and Green Today Show. Well, love was in the air all weekend long as many of you celebrated Valentine's Day, but guess what else is going to be in the air before you know it? Some critters out there. And you know when Charles Jones comes on the show, we're going to talk about those pesky insects. But we're going to talk about the pretty part of them today, right? Yes, sir. We're here to share the top five most lovable bugs. The most lovable bugs. Okay, well, what comes in the list in number one? All right. Well, uh, normally, like I said, we talk about bugs that are hazardous to our health or to our property, but okay. today these are lovable. These are bugs uh, that we don't want to have. That's right. Okay. And the top of the list is ladybugs. Oh, Everybody oh, loves right. them. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the children's toys and even some of the movies have been made about them. But they're actually a very beneficial bug. Yeah, they actually help your gardens, right? That's right. They actually feed on pests that damage our gardens and food crops. Gotcha. Okay, so ladybugs, number one out there. Mm -hmm. Then number two, what do we have? All right, number two, we have fireflies. They're just adorable. Everybody loves fireflies. Who doesn't enjoy on a summer evening going out and capturing fire fireflies? And yeah, all. I was actually never able to capture them. I could never catch up with them. <laughs> they were too <laughs> That's bad. what I loved about them. They, they, they were so cool, and you could try all you wanted to, but they just get out of yeah. I mean, That's get out right. Of too quick. But they're just a lovable bug everybody enjoys. Let's move on to number three, okay. and dragonflies. Okay. Not only are they a beautiful insect to watch, but also they've been around for a long time. They were around when the dinosaurs were around. Oh, right yeah. So they, yeah. They, they're probably like the, the mother of, of all insects That's when you think right. about it. They've been around so long. But also they're very, very beneficial also. Yeah. That's why we need to love these bugs because they actually feed on mosquitoes. Okay. And we need things to feed on mosquitoes, they, especially as we move into the warmer weather. Yeah. Here in the next few months, well, that'll be a prime thing. Now, this next one I didn't expect. <laughs> Crickets. Crickets is probably, or is the most romantic uh, bug of all of them on our list today. Okay, okay. Only okay. the male cricket can chirp. Oh, okay. So they, only the males have the chirping abilities. Yeah, only the males. And they can they, only call. They do that to orchestrate uh, a song or, or music to draw a mate. Okay. You know. And then once they find that mate, they actually chirp a song of celebration. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so when I hear them, I should be annoyed. They're just having a little fun. A little fun. They're trying to be romantic. They're romantic about okay. wooing their mate. And coming in the list on number five. Oh, honeybees. Honey of course, bees. everybody enjoys honey and knows that honeybees pollinate yeah. the flowers. With well, the Valentine's Day just passed, they probably or did pollinate all the flowers yeah, we uh -huh, enjoyed. Yeah, uh-huh, you got that right. No. Uh, also, you know, they're very important to our agriculture or food supplies. They pollinate many of the apples, you know, soybeans and other crops like that. Okay, and they're good to have around and they make some really good honey. That's it. That's it. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming on today. Not to tell you how to get rid of all the pests and critters in your house or that are trying to come in your house, but how you can appreciate them and love on them in this month of February. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Jonathan. Welcome back to the...